Hey, what's going on everybody? The Seer here with our round 3 matchup of Cosmic Crucible. We have 4 more fights to go until the season ends, so I'm trying to get that final push in. At least go 2-1 and one this week, and do a nice push next week so that way I don't drop down too far. My opponent today is Banana Talon. We're going to go ahead and take a look at his TCP, his defenses, but first as a reminder, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you do like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and take a look at my opponent now. Banana Talon is about 71 million TCP. This is going to be a punch down for me. However, both of us only dropped one match so far this week in Cosmic Crucible, so he's definitely a good player. I need to make sure to keep that in mind. I might be able to drop one match and be okay, but I need to try to make sure I aim for those one shots and be as efficient as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the defenses and see what we're going against today. In stage one, it looks like we're going to be going against the Black Knight with Gambit Rogue and Tangled Web. Stage two is Spider Society. Stage three is the defense I used for quite a while and it's a very tough defense. It's the four piece extreme X-Men with Dorm in there, so that could be very tricky. Stage four is going to be the Infinity Watch. Stage five is Out of Time with Quicksilver. And stage six is Secret Defenders with Morgan and Emma. For stage 1, I'm using the full superior 6 team here. I should be able to one-shot this, and that's actually going to save my Apocalypse. Since I won't need him on this Black Knight, I can use him elsewhere on a more important matchup. Lizard will be going first. I'm going to use the ultimate and try to strip the buffs off of Black Knight, which unfortunately did not happen. Green Goblin Classics up. I'm going to use the ultimate here. And because I do have my skirmisher in this matchup, I'm going to be able to put that trauma and ability block on multiple members of this fight. Craven's up. I'm going to use the special here on Black Knight that should be able to flip that immunity and hopefully get that ability block landed on him. Doc Ock is up, I'm going to use the special to summon out that shocker. Because there are the Spider-Verse characters on the other side, the Spider Slayer is able to start with his ult, so I'm going to use that on Black Knight and kill him right now. Shocker's up, I'm going to use that special that will be getting offense up on my team. Blizzard will be using the special on Gambit, and that did end up taking out the Spider Weavers. Now I just have to worry about the Gambit and Rogue. Rogue ends up doing her special, unfortunately, so she does have that taunt on her. I'm going to use Green Goblin Classic Special on her to do that turn rewind and do some pretty good damage to her. She did end up dropping stealth, so now I can just focus on the Gambit. Doc Ock's going to use that ultimate. Gambit unfortunately did get his ult out, so I wasn't able to kill him in time, so that did take a nice hit on my efficiency. Spider Slayer is going to use that special, Gambit is gone, Craven's going to use the ultimate, and now Rogue is gone. For stage 2, I'm going to use Super Scroll and Hive Mind. This is a pretty good counter. It does take some efficiency away, but it feels reliable for me, so I'm going to use this one here. Super Scroll will be going first in this matchup, so it really depends on who you want to use the special on. I'm going to choose Peter B. Parker on this matchup, so that way I can rewind Pavitra, Ghost Spider, and the Peter B. Parker. Super Scroll is back up. I'm going to target the Penny this time and use the basic so I can chain to the left. Now that Void Knight's up, I'm going to use the ultimate to pull them all together and put the ability blocks on them. Unfortunately, the Peter B. Parker did end up removing the ability blocks on several of the members, so it didn't really stick. Penny ends up doing the ultimate and taking out the Carnage. 
Super Scrolls back up, I'm going to use the ultimate that did end up start knocking a couple people in the red, but Carnage wasn't there. Red Goblin, though, was able to use its ultimate and knock more members down, so I can still get that turn meter going. Super Scrolls back up, I'm going to use the special on Ghost Spider, that we can do a rewind on the bunch there. I'm going to use the basic on the Ghost Spider. The Spider-Man Pavitra is dead. Gwenum's going to use the ultimate. Now I just have two members left to worry about. Carnage is going to use the ultimate on the Penny. And Red Goblin now will be using the special on the Spider-Man Noir. Boy Knight's going to use the basic on the Noir as well. Gwenum's going to use the special that did take the penny out, so now I just have to worry about the Spider-Man Noir. So I do have this in the bag. It took a little bit longer. I was able to recover after losing the Carnage, so I was pretty lucky in that. For stage 3, I'm going to use Masters of Evil with Apocalypse. Now, somebody did end up being my defense before when I had this on there. They used Masters of Evil with Echo. It was a really big finesse matchup, so I wanted to put Apocalypse in here thinking that would make it easier. It actually didn't help as much as I would have hoped. So if I took Moonstone out, if I put Echo in, I think that could have actually saved me. So let's take a look to see what happened in this fight. Titania will be going first, so I'm going to use the ultimate on Forge to get that ability block on him. Kang is now up, I'm going to use the special on Forge, and that is going to get the ISO hit on him as well. Now that Moonstone's up, I'm going to use the special to get that trauma stun on Nightcrawler. This was actually a mistake right here. Because everybody has the offense up, I actually killed him right here, and that ended up putting the speed meter up on Forge, and now things start going south for me. Right now they're all targeting everything on the Absorbing Man because of the offense ups that Sunspot gives. That's where having the Echo would have saved me instead of using the Moonstone here. So there I did lose Absorbing Man, so I lost my Taunt. Now they're doing every pile and hit on my Kang. And now I'm going to lose my Kang here. Now that Titan is up, I'm going to use this special on Nightcrawler. Apocalypse is up. So here I'm kind of already determining how I want to do my next hit. I'm going to try to take Forge out, so I do the ultimate on Forge. The ISO attack unfortunately didn't kill him, so I am going to use the Falcon Punch on the Nightcrawler, so that way the Nightcrawler is dead. Now right now my ultimate goal is to take Forge out or Dorum out before I end up wiping on here. So right now they're piling everything into my Apocalypse. I'm going to actually use my special on the Sunspot to ability block him. And that did end up doing a nice health rebalance for me. Titania is up. I'm going to use the ultimate on the Sunspot. I should have used it on Dorm right here. I did get one life off of Sunspot though. Sunspot ended up using his ultimate right there so he got more charges on him. Apocalypse is up. I'm going to target Dorm and use the basic here. That did give me a nice heal up on the Apocalypse. Cyclops did ult and finish me off, so I was lucky I took Dorm out before I did wipe. For my cleanup, I'm going to use the new Warriors. They are fast enough to where I don't have to worry about Sunspot's charges because everybody that's left on the field is going to be slow. I should be able to take them out fairly quick. 
Gwenpool should be going first. I'm gonna use the special to flip all the buffs on the other side, and I'm gonna target the forge first. Firestar's up, I'm gonna use the ultimate on Sunspot, and that actually wiped them out. So this was a very quick cleanup for me. For stage 4 against the Infinity Watch, I'm just going to use the Pegasus team here. It's usually a reliable counter against them, things can go haywire, it does take efficiency away, but if you play it right, it is a pretty good counter to use. Because the Pegasus team is so slow, the Infinity Watch is going to start with their opening barrage. They're going to spread damage out, hopefully they don't tunnel somebody down. Now that it's Kestrel's turn, I'm going to target Philovel and use the special. Because this is in stage 4, Nebula is going to have less health, so I want to make sure I get a good hit on her. Ironheart Mark 2 up, I'm going to use the ultimate here. Now that did end up taking the evades away, but I still got the Kestrel pain. Rescue is going to use the ultimate to flip those negative effects into positive effects. Moon Dragon, however, uses her special and strips all those positive effects away. The Dark Hawk is going to use the ultimate, that's going to do a turn rewind to them. Iron Man Infinity War is going to use the ultimate, that's going to do some pretty good damage to the enemy team. There they did end up tunneling down my Iron Man Infinity War. Kestrel's back up, I'm used to the ultimate on the Gamora, I was hoping to one-shot her, I unfortunately didn't. Rescue ends up using the special that does that percentile damage, and now Philovel is gone. The Darkhawk can use the special on Moon Dragon. The Kestrel Pain did end up taking a life off of Adam Warlock. Ironheart Mark II is going to use the special on Moon Dragon again. Kestrel's back up. I'm used to the basic on Moon Dragon that did kill her, and I got a nice hit on the Gamora. The counterattack did take Gamora out. Now I'm just going to work down Adam Warlock. So Ironheart Mark II is going to use the special. Darkhawk's going to use the special as well. And the Kestrel Ping did take him out. Here I actually opt to use the basic. So that way, when it goes back to Rescue's turn, I can use the ultimate, and I got my Iron Man Infinity War back, so I'm going to have some better efficiency coming around. For stage 5, I'm going to use Tangled Web Eternal's Nova that should be able to take this team out fairly well. 2099 will be going first. I'm going to target the Peggy Carter and use the ultimate. Now they did end up putting some barrier on them because of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Weaver's then going to use the ultimate on the Quicksilver for the Trauma Stun. Icarus is up, I'm going to use the ultimate to do a turn meter rewind. Nova's up. I'm going to stay targeted on Captain America and use the special. So that did get a stun on him and I got some nice damage on the Quicksilver. Cersei's going to use the ultimate for another turn meter rewind and Quicksilver is now dead. The 2099's can use the special to ability block the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Spider Weaver's back up. I'm going to stay targeted on the Cosmic Ghost Rider and use the special. And that did end up taking out the Starbrand and the Cosmic Ghost Rider, so that was a great hit. Icarus is going to use the special on Captain America. For Cersei's turn, I'm going to use the special on Peggy Carter. That's going to put a stun on her. Nova's going to use the ultimate because there is that vulnerable there, so he's going to get that ISO hit. Icarus is going to basic. Cersei's going to basic. 
and the match is over. For stage 6, I'm using my Cabal Archangel Vulture. It's just a really good team that gets me a very good efficiency score into this team. Mizmogar Harlight's going to use the ultimate and do a turn meter rewind to the three Cabal members, unfortunately. Vulture's going to use the special and end up killing the Emma Frost. Archangel's going to do a turn meter rewind to the team. Archangel does have the ability block on him, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to target the black hat and do the basic. Leader's going to use the special into the Ravi. That's going to call all the assist in. That doesn't get the kill right here, but it gets very close to it. The Iron Patriot's up. I'm going to target the black hat and use the special. That did end up killing the Robbie and the Black Cat, and Archangel was able to do the pings onto the Nismover Hardlight. Name more ultimates, and the match is over. So I did end up losing this matchup. My opponent got a 50,174, I got a 49,768. So I don't know if me making that adjustment on stage 3, if I would have ended up getting a better efficiency score to where I could have beat them. I think they still would have had the W on this one. There were just too many rooms where I took too big of an efficiency hit. So props to you, Banana Talon. You got the best of me, and best of luck to you on the rest of this season. Let's go ahead though, check out the defenses and see how they did. In stage 1, that's where I used the Superior 6 into the X-Men Tangled Web Black Knight team. I got an 8355. When Gamut used his ultimate, that definitely gave me a big hit on my efficiency for that attack. Stage 2 was another big efficiency hit for me. I got an 8359. The health and everything was fine, however, the Spider Society just drained so many turns that it does become an efficiency sink. In stage 3 is where it definitely got me. I had the dropped attack and then I had to go in for the cleanup. I got a 79.64. Stage 4 Pegasus into Infinity Watch is an efficiency sink as well. This got me at 83.57. Usually this attack gets you in the high 50s, low 60 range. That's why I don't really prefer to use it. I just use it when I have to. For stage 5, I got an 83.63. This wasn't too bad of a hit, in all honesty, just because the out of time team, they can drain a few turns for you as well. So 83.63, I think is a respectable score for this attack. For stage 6, I get an 83.70. That's usually the score that I get when I use this team into that Seeker Defenders, which is why I love using it so much. It makes up a lot of ground on my efficiency points. Now onto my defenses. So they used Masters of Evil with Kestrel into my Unlimited X-Men with Phoenix team. I found that pretty interesting, and this got them at 8366, so that's a pretty good score. For stage 2, they used Hive Mind with Super Scroll as well. This got them at 8360, so they had about one more point than me, I believe it was, for efficiency. So that's about the efficiency score that you're going to get when you use that into a fully built Spider Society team. For stage 3, they used the Superior 6 into my Extreme X-Men with Quicksilver. This got them at 83.67. That was actually a pretty good efficiency score for that hit. For stage 4, they used New Warriors into my Out of Time with Dorm team. That's pretty interesting because I've seen that fail so many times. I think they got pretty good lucky as far as the hits went for where they... The pings and everything kind of landed on this. This also got them at 83.64. I'm still going to keep this on defense. It's just interesting that it worked this time when I've seen it fail when I used it and other content creators as well use that attack. For stage 5, they used Eternals, Nova, Bait Time, and Red Hulk into the Infinity Watch. 
I've used this before and I've seen it fail quite a bit as well depending on where the blind lands. This did get them at 8353, so it also wasn't the greatest efficiency, but they did get the one shot, which was important for them. In for stage 6, they get an 8364. They end up using their Cabal with Apocalypse and Lizard into my Secret Defenders with Black Knight. I do love this team on defense right here because it pulls pretty good characters away. So this ended up combining Apocalypse and Cabal together, and the efficiency still wasn't the greatest because they didn't take a lot of turns to take this out, however they took a beating on the health bonuses for it. So even though I went 1 and 2 this week, I did make some adjustments to my defense. Hopefully it's enough to where I can go 3 and 0 next week or that 2 and 1 again. I don't want to drop below Masters 1, so I definitely want to go 2 and 1 at the minimum next week. But I really want that 3 and 0. I want to get a nice push into the top portion of Cosmic Crucible for rankings before we do the drop because we are dropping ranks at the end of this season. Once we have the new room rules out for Cosmic Crucible, I'll make sure to get a video out for that as well as far as defense that I think can actually work in there like I usually do for you guys. If you like this content, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, that way you won't miss any videos. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.